I become incredibly obsessed with being careful about what you tell customers that you can do stuff or that you can't do. For instance, in your window cleaning business, if a customer says, hey, I have a chandelier above the front door. Can you clean that too? And you're on the phone, right? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> so there's this new rule. I think of it like almost like esoteric and NLP language. I imagine there's like a barrier. It's like a like a, a, a rubber filled water sack, like a pool liner or something. And it's got like a billion pounds of pressure trying to explode on you like a like a like a Niagara Falls. Right. And this thing has so much pressure and that's the customer's expectations or what they want. And you have to be very crystal clear about what you say yes and no to, because as soon as you even go, yeah, we might be able to do that. It's like you take a knife and you stab it and it goes and it starts spraying at you like a fire hose. And now you have a geyser that you have to deal with and put out. Now, those are all of the things that you can't do that you might be able to do, but you don't know for sure if you could do it or not. There's this thing that I heard from this millionaire T. Harv Ecker guy in his millionaire books and motivational speakers. So he would say to the audience, he would say, everybody, this is what you do. You make a really big promise and then grow into that promise. That's how you get rich, folks. So like, that means you run around telling people yes that you can do stuff not knowing for sure if you can do it and then you figure out on the fly so you jump off a cliff and you build a plane on the way down right so what's better is it to get really really good at refining the stuff that you know how to do and saying no to all the other stuff that you don't want to do you don't like to do you don't know how to do you don't want to learn how to do Does that feel better to you? So my new lingo is I say, we can clean some chandeliers, but I'm not gonna tell you yes until I get there and I physically look at it. Can you send me a picture? Hmm, pictures are deceiving. Well, we can clean the windows, but I'm not telling you yes that we can clean your chandelier until I get there and I personally inspect it, which means it could be no. <laughs> and, and some customers say, oh, come on, you can do it. I do it myself. I can do it in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Then do it. We'll clean the windows. You clean the chandelier. All the wasted time and energy and effort saying yes so that's, that's my new motto. The new motto is no. No. Hey, get, no. Get what about, no. Just what, no. No, 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 no. No. That's, that's my new motto is no. Maybe, but probably not. <laughs>